Hi, my name is Amelia, Santa Margarita Water District Water Efficiency Specialist. Today we'll be doing a easy, kid-friendly mason jar soils test. This is a test to determine what type of soil texture you have in your garden. Soil is the foundation of your garden's success. Whether you have clay, silt, or sandy soil can determine how long you water your plants for, how much soil amendment to use when you plant, as well as if your site is suitable for a sustainable garden feature. The main thing you need to know is that soil is made up of minerals, water, air, and organic matter. The mineral piece of the pie is what we are analyzing with this test. Clay has the smallest particle size, and this is why it's so easy to squish or compact. Clay tends to hold more water and nutrients, more so than other soils. Sand has the largest particle and drains water and nutrients faster than the other soils. And lastly, silt is right in between the sand and the clay particle size. The mason jar test will help us determine the percentages of each type of particle size we have in our sample and determine roughly our soil texture. What we want to know is how close we are to home, sweet home, or what gardeners call loam, sweet loam. A balanced combination of all three sizes makes an ideal garden soil. For this test, you will need a trowel, or I like a soil probe to take the soil sample, a clear jar, either glass or plastic with a lid, flat bottom, and vertical sides, garden soil from any area throughout the garden that you are planning to plant, water from a tap or hose, a ruler, preferably with the millimeter option, a permanent marker to mark the levels of the material as it settles, and finally, you'll need about 24 hours of time to pass to take the final measurements. Now that you have your materials, let's settle some soil. First off, take the soil sample that you have and break it up with a trowel or a screwdriver into small pieces, removing any large rocks or roots. Secondly, add the soil sample to the jar and fill it up almost halfway. Thirdly, add the water until the jar is three quarters of the way full. Cap and shake for two minutes. Put the jar down on a level table and wait five minutes. The sand will start to settle out first. When the sand and gravel have settled, take a marker and mark the level. Do the same for the silt level after one hour. And lastly, come back the next day to mark the final line for the level of clay. Take note, the minerals are settling in the order of size and weight. Starting from the bottom of the jar is the sand and gravel. Next will be the silt layer, and next the clay. After the clay will be the water that's left in the jar, as well as any floating organic matter like wood mulch or potting soil on top. Now for the analysis. Take your settled jar test and measure the marked levels of each particle. For our test, we have 30 millimeters of sand, 12 millimeters of silt, and one millimeter of clay. Next, we add up all of the numbers to get a total number for all particles. For ours, it would be 43 millimeters of sand, silt, and clay. This is the total that we need to convert the amounts into percentages. We have 70% of sand, 28% of silt, and 2% of clay. At the end, the total should always be 100%. This is what information we need to put into the soil texture calculator. The USDA National Resource Conservation Service has a great tool to do all the work for you. And there you have the good old mason jar soils test.